Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for Facebook groups, fans of Serif Software and Affinity Designer and Photo Group. Um, and this tutorial will be a beginner's guide looking at assets and using the .af asset file. I say beginner's guide because I too am a beginner and I am learning a lot of this as I'm going along um, because I've never really got into like, the drawing and design type of programs I've been using Serif products for many years but mainly it was Photo Plus, Paste Plus, Web Plus I never really got into Draw Plus um, and when they brought out this new the new products Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer um, I got designer and as best as I can tell designer is a sort of an amalgamation of ma mainly draw plus with a bit of photo plus and paste plus thrown in for good measure and obviously a few other extra new things that have been added so I've stuck with this a lot longer than I stuck with photo uh, with draw plus um, so I want to learn more about how to use it so in doing that I joined the um, Facebook group Affinity Design and Photo group and recently the chap that runs it I think it is uh, Bill maybe um, added to the file section this Asex pack and where you can download it so I would suggest that you join the group it's a very good group and you know, the, in the file section, if you go to the file section, which is here, there's a, all sorts of there's brushes and other things that you can download, and one of those is the asset pack, and you can download it and and so we can you can follow on from there. Um, another thing that was pointed out to me via this group is this. Um, PDF file and I will add a link to this PDF file to the description of this video which sort of describes about making geometric shapes and then it goes on to about the assets panel and then it gives you ideas on how to make your own assets from the basic um, like teardrops which you can get in um, Affinity's designer from here, um, where is it? Teardrop tool. So you could, you know, make the teardrop, and then it tells you sort of how to make these various shapes from that basic design. So this is well worth checking out this PDF, and so sort of maybe following those instructions. So let's have a look, go back to Affinity Designer. Now, to use assets that are ready made or you can download, you need the assets panel, which isn't visible by default um, uh, in the PC version, at least. I'm assuming it's the same with the Mac version. But all you need to do is come up to View and come down to the Studio option in that view menu and then come to assets and just click on that and the assets panel will open up I believe by default it opens up on the left it could possibly open up over here I must admit I can't remember whether I've moved it out but I'm, I don't think I did I think it by default it starts over here um, it does come with a few assets that are supplied by serif so you could use any of these but basically you just like click on the one you want actually I need to make a pixel layer above my background first of all let me just do that and then you just click on the asset you want and drag it onto the screen some will be a bit bigger but you can just resize it and then it's 
this is like pretty much as if you'd like sort of drawn this yourself and you can do whatever you want with it you can change the colors you can add effects you know like um an outer shadow let's say so that is pretty much what the all the assets do you can just um click them from the screen uh from the panel and put them onto your screen now i'm guessing a lot of these will be for maybe web designs because you can add you know buttons and things like that because like this one up here let's have these two one is the toggle on button and one is the toggle off button um, so I'm guessing if you were doing a website you'd put it one on top of the other and then if you clicked on it it will maybe change over to the button below which is the toggle on or toggle off um, I really don't know too much about how you do web designs from Affinity Designer um, that at the moment is way beyond my capabilities but you can use these designs for whatever you want not just web designing and as you can see here I have downloaded quite a few and a lot of these come from that um, assets pack that I told you about earlier done by Bill maybe so for example you have all these ones here um, and there and there's loads of them so for whatever projects you are trying to do I'm sure there is something in these that you could make use of but there's all like there's well basically near enough, hundreds of them really so that is how I've got these one uh, how you can use them how do you install them or even find them and then install them um, if I, I had a quick look on the affinity uh, resources forum and I found a, a thing called UI faces users assets I've not actually installed this yet and I haven't actually tried it so this is what we're going to do now and it just looks like it's you can drag these faces onto your into your projects so down here you have the option to download it you just click on it and download it and it will download as a zip file so all you need to do is extract that and when you do extract it you will have inside the folder the Unifaces version 3 AF assets so now we need to install this into Affinity Designer so in the assets panel up here in the top right of the panel a little square and you just click on that menu pops up and then you've got import assets that all I've got to do now is to navigate to where that file is which is Unifaces version 3 select the file click open and as you can see all those faces have now appeared in my assets panel so I can drag those onto the screen I'm not 100% certain what I would ever use these for but this is just a demonstration to show you what can be how easy it is to just install new assets if you find them somewhere so really that is the end of this demonstration um, it's just a very quick 
demonstration showing you how to in, uh, open up the assets panel, how to sort of quickly use the assets, and to install new assets. The one thing I haven't really shown you is once you, if you do make your own assets or um, by following that sheet that I showed you earlier, you can export them and share them with other people. Um, but as I've never made any, I can't really demonstrate that side of things, but I'm guessing it's as easy to export it as it, as it is to import them. So I hope this has been of some use to beginners who of Affinity Designer. And uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.